Hey everyone, this is Jen at Crystal Guidance and we are here on day four of the Hibiscus Moon Crystal Reading Challenge. I am going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I am technically not going to draw a card, I'm going to draw a crystal. You remember yesterday we had Green Aventrine. Alright, let me move these out of the way. So, typically this up here. Um, how I do my readings in person or online is I actually have a person draw crystals. Um, based upon the crystals that you draw will give them, uh, give me an idea of the messages because you are going to be drawn to the crystals that have a message for you for that time. So um, with me obviously I know the messages that are set for the crystals so I cannot pull them by sight. I have to pull them blindly, which is why I have them in the bag. I have probably close to 100 crystals or so in here because my deck has 45 crystals in it and I have um, almost two per crystal, in, uh, two crystals per card in here. So, reach in here. Mix them up a little bit and see what we get. And mind you, they are all the same, basically the same size of shape. All right, which I will pour them out in a second and show you, but today's crystal then is hematite. That is actually really funny because um, one of the ladies who's also doing crystal readings, Andy Valkyrie Divine, on hers, her card for day three was hematite. So she and I are definitely seeing a lot of synchronicities. So let me see if I can show you, either show you in the bag or dump them out. Hopefully not, that'll get really loud. Let's see here. You can kind of see in the bag, oh, bunches of them in there. So this is the kit that I work with when I do readings. So, but like I said, as you notice, they're kind of about all the same oh, shape and size. Sunstone says hi. <laughs> so that um, I cannot tell which is which when I'm drawing from the bag when I do readings online. So, today's crystal, hematite. And as I said, I wanted to draw from the bag today instead of from the deck, but um, I will pull out the card itself to show you the card in just a moment. So we've got hematite today. Um, hematite, excellent grounding stone. In fact, that is definitely the number one message that is coming across today is grounding. Um, here in Missouri, it is absolutely gorgeous today. Wind is blowing. Um, it is going to be close to 80 degrees here. And mind you, it's, you know, the 10th of November. So it's just beautiful. So today for at least me would be the absolute perfect day to go running outside barefoot and do earthing, which is an probably one of the best ways you can go ground is running out barefoot in the grass and getting really in touch with Mother Earth. So the main, definitely, the biggest thing with hematite today, right now, is grounding. The other message that hematite has, which may reflect, reflect more better for you, and I kind of laugh and hesitate with reflect because it actually, that is the message. If you can tell with hematite, it is very reflective. It is a metallic reflective gray. And so its message is to reflect on the past. So let me see if I can actually find the card. Um, if you've noticed lately, we have been having a lot of heart centered, a lot of heart cards we have had. Let's see, well, there's our venturing from yesterday. There we go. So yeah, I told you there was more than just heart cards in there. <laughs> it just seemed the first, you know, the end of the week, which was when I started this, was just very heart-centered. But now we have moved on to the root chakra. 
So this is our connection to Mother Earth, survival instincts. Um, also, you see we have a fire element. Before we had earth and we had water cards popping up. We've got earth, which is very passionate, creative, um, even business. With it being the weekend, it is definitely interesting that now that we're into the weekend, at least as I'm shooting this, that this has popped up. And I mean, it's just a total shift from where we were this week. So focus more on the root chakra, grounding yourself, get outside and do earthing, you know, walking around barefoot if you can. Um, so it takes a little bit of time to reflect on the past. Um, although you cannot change the past, you can do things in the present that can kind of help with that. Um, so say you had an argument with somebody, you can call them and talk to them. You can work things out. Um, but truly, the um, I'm not getting a very strong feeling for the message of reflect on the past. And that's the thing with my cards is even though they have a basic message on them, there's so much that the crystals can convey. They have so many different messages. So don't follow just what the cards say. Pay attention to what chakra it is or pay attention to the element. These are going to also offer you more information if you um, end up having these cards if you just work with the crystals pay attention to what the crystal says to you so for me at the moment it is screaming and yelling to get outside and do some grounding exercises um, we just recently I believe yesterday or the day before we had solar flares and with solar flares um, they can leave a person feeling very ungrounded um, disoriented, uh, sleepy, you know, just totally drained of energy. So what is recommended with if you're sensitive to solar flares is grounding, drinking more water, getting plenty of rest. So the fact that we just had those solar flares and now hematites popping up saying, hey, go outside, ground yourself, that makes perfect sense. Um, if you can't get outside and ground, that's okay. There are definitely meditations you can do visualizing roots coming from the bottom of your feet and growing into the ground. So anchor yourself to Mother Earth. Feel her earthly grounding energies and just soak that up. Imagine your roots coming from your feet going deep, as deep as you can into the earth. That makes a big difference if you can't do anything. Um, carry hematite with you. A couple of other ones, look for the brown and black crystals, like black tourmaline, very protective and grounding as well. I actually have a black tourmaline, big piece beneath my feet right now, actually in between my feet as I'm doing this reading. So again, another clue, grounding is a really big thing right now. So um, hopefully tomorrow or Monday, I will be able to actually turn the camera on me. My husband is off right now getting the cord I need to be able to get videos off of my good camcorder, which then I can aim it at myself. <laughs> so that way you can see me as I'm doing these readings, see my goofy self. Um, get outside, ground yourself if you can. Um, actually, also bath. Baths are being in water is also very grounding. Drink lots of water. So, grounding is our message for today. It's a great message for this weekend, and we'll see what tomorrow, day five, has to hold for us. Crystal blessings.